Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first Q&A. So I put up a video asking for your questions in the comments and I got quite a few comments which I'm really pleased about. Um, so I'm just gonna work my way through them and answer the questions. BD underscore nibble underscore squeak asked, are you planning to get more pets? Um, I'm not currently planning to get more pets. I'm happy with the amount of animals that I do have. Pets and me has to how many pets do you have? Me, personally, I have three. Then we have a few questions from the Sketchy Bunny. Uh, the first one is, if you could have any other pet, what would it be? Um, currently, like as of now, I would love to have a fighting fish or bear fish, whichever you want to call them. Um, I think they're just super cool. What is your favourite animal? Um, my favourite animal are definitely dogs. I'm a really big dog person and I actually want to work with dogs in the future because I want to be a dog handler in the police. Which hamster species is your favourite? Um, this is kind of a hard question to answer because I don't really have one. Um, I did used to think Syrians were like the best species of hamster. But um, yeah, I don't really have a favourite. I think they're all equally as cool as each other. Have I ever considered owning a rabbit? I would love to own a rabbit. I think they're so cool. It's definitely something I really wanted when I was younger. Um, but we always had a dog, so it wasn't something that was possible. But I can see myself definitely in the future having, you know, a couple of rabbits, probably indoor rabbits, um, is what I'd go for when I've moved out and they can have like a room all to themselves um, and I can rabbit proof it. That would be kind of how I'd want to go about it. But yeah, definitely sometime in the future I can see myself having rabbits. Next we have some questions from Bella. She uh, asked for my thoughts on critter trials and tiny tail cages. I've never seen any critter trials or tiny tail cages here. Um, I live in the UK and I've never seen them in any pet stores. I don't think you can get tiny tail cages over here. You can get critter trials online, I think, like Pets at Home sell a couple of them. But obviously they're not suitable and they're nothing I bet I'd ever buy. I think they're just there kind of advertised um, as toys for young kids to get young kids to want a hamster and it's just more of like a decoration. These are cages that would sort of fit in with toys on a shelf more than they would provide a suitable habitat for a hamster. Um, in the UK, don't get me wrong, there are still some awful, awful cages. Um, most of the ones in pet stores are still unsuitable. However, they're more of just like a plastic base with a wire top. Um, much like the cage I got Polo in, it was nothing that was designed specifically to attract the attention of young kids. Um, and I don't get why they're so small like that. Like you can make plastic base and wire topped cages um, that are of suitable size. There are a couple out there. Um, the Savic one is what comes to mind. But unfortunately, it's just not the thing in pet stores, unfortunately, to have suitable sized cages. But there are still some similar things to the tiny tail cages um, that I can think of because they're like themed, aren't they? They're like, I've seen one that's like a pink castle. I think that's the one that um, Kim Kardashian got for her daughter. Um, what comes to mind is, I can't remember who makes it, but I've definitely seen it in Pets at Home and I'll put a picture on the screen. It's like um, a little circus tent and I think that's definitely the worst cage that I've seen in the store. It's super small, not suitable at all and definitely more designed to look like a toy. These are like completely inappropriate and you really shouldn't have them. I don't hold a good opinion of tiny tail cages, critter trials, all the similar stuff we have here in the UK because they're just not suitable. Bella also asked if I think it's fine to house uh, robos or dwarves together. Yes, I do, as long as it's two robos or two dwarves and they are in same-sex pairs. Dwarf species of hamster actually don't gain anything from living together. They are perfectly happy living on their own. It's a personal choice you have to make whether you want to try and keep them together or not. I mean, it's perfectly fine to do so. You just have to be careful looking out for if there is any fighting going on. And as soon as there is, you have to have the ability to split them up. So you have to have another cage ready to go that's um, of a suitable size. Two Russian dwarfs together, fine. Two robos together, fine. Two Syrians together, not fine because they are completely solitary. Um, but yeah, with the dwarf species, as long as they're of the same sex and of the same species, they can live together. It's just a little tricky, something I personally wouldn't try. Bella also asks water bowls or water bottles for hamsters. Um, for a very long time I used water bottles, like completely fine, there's nothing wrong with them. Even though I did recently switch over to bowls. Um, I don't know if you can see, yeah, here you go. So um, this is Big Rose water bowl at the moment next to her food bowl. Um, I did used to have the Living World glass water bowls and Pat still has one of those because when I tried to switch him over, he actually jumped into his water bowl, which after looking that up, 
um, I realised it's because the bowl was too big. But Bebo and Perlo are both switched over to water bowls now. Um, they started using the bowls more than the bottles, so I did actually remove the bottles since they weren't being used at all, to be honest. But Pat does still have a bottle. However, I did recently buy um, three little tea light holders that are much smaller than the bowls I was currently using. So I'm going to switch over to those since the bowls that I've got right now are just too big that it's unnecessary. Um, so if they work out fine, I might try Pat on it again. But I don't have anything against bottles or bowls. I think they're perfectly fine. It's just um, a personal choice. What brand of food do you use for your hamsters? I use Harry's Hamster. I think it's kind of the best mix that you can buy in a pet store that's like well balanced with everything that they need. Um, I do use Harry's Hamster for my dwarf hamsters as well. I know some people use some like specialist mix made for dwarfs for dwarf hamsters, but I mean all packs ever eaten is Harry's Hamster. I had him from when he was very young and Perla's moved over to it completely fine. He was having like an Asda brand of food before. Um, and they both eat everything in their bowl. Um, so I think Harry's Hamster is completely fine for dwarf hamsters as well. And I do think it's just the best balanced mix out there in the pet store. Next question is how old are my hamsters? So my oldest hamster is a pat. I think he's around 19 months. Uh, Bebo's just a little younger at 18 months. And I'm pretty sure Perlo is definitely the youngest. However, I'm not sure. Um, I got him from a pre-loved ad. And he was listed at around a year, and I know his previous owner had, had him for six months, but he was somewhere else before that. He's probably around a year old, but I have no idea um, of his exact age. She also asks what I think about fragranced bedding. Um, I've personally never used it, so I don't really know what it's like. Um, since I've got hamsters, I always knew that that was wrong and potentially dangerous for them, so it's something that I've never like used before. I know that you shouldn't use it because hamsters have really delicate respiratory systems and the fragrance bedding can give them respiratory infections. I don't think that hamsters particularly smell bad anyway. I mean, I have three cages in my room and it never bothers me. I think the only time they can smell is just when you haven't cleaned them out enough. So spot cleaning is really important and also um, cleaning out, you know, some of the bedding every month. So I never do full cleans anymore because I think the bedding that hamsters have just walked on is completely fine to keep. You just want to be removing all the dirtier sections, which is where the smell comes from. So fragrance bedding should never be needed anyway, as long as you're keeping up with cleaning. Bella's last question is if I've ever considered owning a rat. No, I haven't. I don't have anything against rats, really. I think it's cool how intelligent they are and that you can teach them things. I think that's really impressive. Um, it's just something I never really thought about. I'm very into hamsters and I think that's what I know and what I like. And that's something I'll definitely stick with for a while. Next, we have some questions from Abby's Animals. She asks my favourite colour. Um, I don't really have one. I guess my favourite colour in terms of like things to put in your room or design wise, I like blues, greys and yellows at the moment. And my favourite colour to wear is definitely black, which I know is super boring, but it's what I like to wear. Abby's next question is, what is my favourite food? Again, like favourite colour, I don't really have one, but I am a vegetarian and I have been for a really long time now. Abby also wants to know about my first hamster. My first hamster, was actually Bebo, she's the first hamster of my own. Abby also asked if I have any siblings, I do, I have one younger brother. She also asked why did I start YouTube? Um, I started YouTube because I wanted to, I actually made this channel with the intention of posting a really long time ago, before I even had hamsters, um, it's just been sitting there a while, but when I got hamsters and I'd had them a while, um, obviously I, I learned a lot from watching hamster videos on YouTube and I decided I wanted to make some of my own and that's where these hamster videos came from. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you if you left a comment. I do really appreciate it. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments of this video. And if I do a Q&A again, this is where I'll come to get the questions from. Um, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.